What's up, everybody? Brothers, sisters, psychonauts, and seekers of truth, it is Ananka, and welcome to my bazaar. Today, I have a magic mushrooms trip report for you. The title of this trip report is Hitting a Wall in My Own Mind, and was submitted to Eroid in 2022 by the user Ollie. With all that being said, let our story begin. Mind and body set, overworked and sleepy, though no bad thoughts or experiences happened recently. Setting, my room, alone, and preparation, none to very little, didn't eat eight hours before the experience. A little about myself. I'm 21 years old and have a quite long history of drug use. About a year ago, I started experimenting with psychedelics like mushrooms or salvia divinorum. Since then, I have had at least eight trip sessions with mushrooms. Most of the time, I would trip at a friend's house. Only two of the trips were outside in public and I have had high-dose experiences at at least 3.5 grams. But I wanted to kind of get out of this drug-using mindset of having tons of fun and see if I could use the mushroom trip as a tool for exploring my mind, my own side. The first time tripping alone, I started with a half gram of dried mushrooms, Golden Teacher. It was a very, very mild trip, and this time, I wanted to go deep. So this try, I took 2.2 grams of dried mushrooms Ecuadorian. This is what happened. 10.30 p.m. Mushrooms cooked as a tea and ingested. 11 p.m. I started feeling little bits of the mushroom, but not harsh. Talking to my trip buddy on the telephone, waiting for it to kick in. 11.20 p.m. I really do start feeling the heavy effects of my dose. I hung up the phone, turned on some music, and kept sitting at my computer, waiting for the right time to lay down on my bed to start exploring. At this point, the distortion of reality started leaving pretty quickly, and I started seeing patterns that I always see when I ingest mushrooms. Objects were morphing, Walls were breathing heavily and lighting up in different colors. At this point, I was really, really tired, so I decided to lay down on my bed to turn off my computer and give it a go in my own mind. Midnight. Just past midnight, I went and laid down on my bed and turned on the TV without sound so that if I started to kind of panic, I could still have some kind of reality that I could pretty much just churn on. For me, TV is pretty much always the one thing that never goes into the trip and kind of brings me back to reality. I closed my eyes, and this is when it starts to get really intense. 12.10 a.m. With my eyes closed and music turned off, I still started hearing voices, sounds, and music, but inside my head. I could at this point still tell it wasn't real. As I started drifting away deep into my own mind, I saw patterns, tunnels, and faces, though I could not tell whose face or what kind of face. After what seemed like at least an hour, I was flying through a tunnel it kind of reminded me of my arteries that ran through my body, as if I was starting to go on a voyage finding my deepest psychedelic mind. After flying for what seemed like at least ten minutes, I took a left turn in the tunnel, and boom, it was like hitting a brick wall, as if I turned on to a path where the door was closed, and I just ran right into the door. The last thing I remember at this point was that the door I hit was black with red dots. Right when I hit it, 
a really, really obnoxiously loud buzzing sound, kind of like when a subwoofer is turned up with just one tone but no other speakers, was heard. And it felt as if my brain vibrated and my heart stopped for a second. I then sat up in my bed, literally thrown out of my own mind, as if I had a bad dream and just woke up. Probably the most unpleasant sound and feeling I have ever had or heard in my whole life. I then looked back at the clock, thinking it had to have been at least one and a half hours. Wrong. 12.15 a.m. Shocked at what just happened. I didn't really understand or know how to interpret what had just happened. While thinking about this, I turned on the sound on the TV and turned around because I wanted to give it another go, I guess. Closing my eyes, I started drifting away in a world of patterns, shapes, sounds, and a lot of vivid thoughts. I then again started flying through tunnels of some kind in my own body. I guess I was back on the way, deep into my own mind. Maybe it was some kind of tunnels in my brain. I couldn't really control where I was flying either. I was just trying to think, not to fight it, and let the mushrooms take over. Maybe because I was trying to fight it the first time, I hit the door so hard and shot out of it. Anyways, flying through the tunnels of my own brain or mind, for again what seemed like hours, I then again took a right turn at some point and hit the same door again. Exactly the same door I saw last time. Same noise and same waking out of it with a panic-like attack. Shocked and quite scared, I didn't know anymore what was happening. And time was not passing either. Did what seemed like hours again was only five minutes. 12.20 a.m. I lit up a cigarette and turned the TV sound on, trying to find some kind of reality to take my mind off of what had just happened. I started to watch TV and realized that nothing made sense and everything seemed not real on TV either. This is when I pretty much lost it and started panicking. I got the telephone and called my trip buddy, who was at home and sober. I tried to explain what had just happened, and he had to start calming me down. I didn't know what to do anymore. He then told me to get some food from downstairs and something to drink, and just sit with him and talk, which was probably the best thing that ever happened that night. I got a glass of milk and a piece of toast, knowing I was probably not able to eat anyways. Going downstairs, I noticed that I could hardly walk. Talking to my trip buddy really helped a lot, at least with what was going on in my mind. From the outside view of the room, and how things have changed, it didn't help at all. I was still having a really, really heavy time, and visual distortion, even seeing things that were not quite there. Lights and stuff like that. 1 a.m. At this point, I was calmed down to a point where I was starting to be okay again and almost ready to be on my own. 1.30 a.m. I got myself another glass of milk and a whole bunch of cigarettes and sat in front of the TV, hanging up the phone telling my buddy that I was alright and okay to be alone again. The effect started to wear off at this point, slowly. Really slowly, things started making sense on TV. 2 a.m. Trying to get the time to pass. Smoking one cigarette after another. Watching TV, but laughing. I was just scared of falling back into the deep, trance-like state I was in earlier. And hitting the closed door again. I tried to stay awake as long as I could. Watching TV at some point, it happened again, the sound and the feeling. 
This time, it was a lot less harsh, though. Just like a little rude wake-up. But this time, I wasn't in deep in the experience anymore. I shook it off and kept watching TV. 4 a.m. I think the effects were mostly gone. Just a slight afterglow. 4.30 a.m. I think I am ready to go to sleep, but kind of scared of still hitting something while drifting away. It was the most unpleasing thing or feeling I have ever felt, really. 4.45 a.m. Fell asleep, I guess. All in all, I have had a bad trip before. Walking out in public and getting lost. But this was way worse. The things that were in my mind were just really, really weird, and time would not pass. At this point, I don't know when I will do mushrooms again. But I do know I will never do them that unprepared and tired again. Oh, and probably not alone. I think the door with the buzzing noise that I was talking about was maybe a door I could not open. That's probably the difference to really experienced users and me as a not-that-experienced user. Or maybe it's just doors that real shamans can open. Or I might not even want to see what's behind it. It kind of freaks me out thinking what might have been if I would have opened the door. Greets, Ollie. All right, everyone, that is the end of our story. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Share with us your mushroom experiences down in the comments below. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel, and I will see you in the next one, fam. Deuces.